day to you. Welcome to the 5 o'clock news. Today is January 15th, 1919, and it is abnormally warm weather for winter. Now to today's breaking stories. A train robbery is in progress, and the authorities are powerless to stop it at this time. We will go into that more after our daily segment, Reading with Jim, which is me. But now, we will go to our roving reporter, Nick, who is live at the scene of a disaster that has just occurred in North Point. Thank you, Jim. At 12.40 today, a molasses tank about 50 feet tall and 90 feet wide collapsed at the Purity and Distilling Company. Survivors say that when the rivet shot out, it sounded like a machine gun, and when the molasses came out, it sounded like a train passing by. It did, in fact, fling a train off its tracks and a truck into the harbor. The train, ironically, was the one being robbed, as we have said earlier. People were also hurled by the molasses wave, which was going about 40 miles an hour. Authorities state that 21 people died and 150 horses were also killed or injured, or both, meaning they were injured and then killed or killed and then injured, I don't know. The Purity and Distilling Company contends that the disaster was caused by an external explosion, possibly by an anarchist saboteurs. The alcohol distilled from the molasses was destined for use in government munitions. They also blame the accident on pressure. They say that the abnormal winter heat made it hot inside and outside, making the pressure too intense. However, authorities say that the incident is mainly because the manufacturer didn't bother with safety tests. They claim that it was poorly built and it was painted brown to hide leaks. People say that they would collect molasses dripping out of the tank for their families and take it home. It remains to be seen who is right in, in assigning blame. It seems that a sticky situation just got stickier. Now back to you, Jim. Thanks, Nick, for another fine report. Now it's time for Reading with Jim. Today, I'll be reading A Treasury of Bunny Stories. A Treasury of Bunny Stories? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm bored.